G'day folks, welcome back to Fish and Drifts. It's damage report time for Carl's S13 Sylvia. He did do Rocky Nuts approximately three weeks ago and I've been trying to make a video to show you guys what he done to that beautiful S13 of his. So let's get straight into it. Let's start with underneath the engine bay of the S13 and I'll just pop the bonnet and I've seen the compression tester is still on this car or on the motor and um, it just cracked me up because what it's reading is absolutely funny and it makes sense for an RB so uh, compression test was done and uh, number six cylinder still hooked up and it says be back soon. <laughs> Typical RB, eh? Still in the six. See you later. Be back soon, eh? So, all seriousness, uh, that piston did drop 100 psi. Um, I'll show you why. Right, eh? So, oh, we're squeezing here. She's a bit tight for the big boy. Oop, here we go, down here. Now, this is the relay for Carl's. Oh, let's come back out. She, she's squashy, eh, these S13s. That is the relay for Carl's fuel pumps. So, what happened is, while he was doing Rocky notes, the uh, cables going into that relay started to drop out, and they were only just making contact. So every time he's hitting a bump, it's obviously come in and out, in and, out and the uh, fuel pumps are cutting in and out, in and out. What do cylinders need? They need fuel. So, what happens is, the fuel rail gets fed in from here. By the time it gets to the back here, there's not enough fuel. Because the fuel pump's going in, out, in, out, and uh, not keeping up with the, with the flow. So, number six cylinder, typical RB problem, not enough fuel, and boom, fry the rings. That's what we're guessing. Well, it's, we're pretty much 90% sure that's, is, that is what happened. Damage report on the actual uh, body panels is pretty good until you get to the back of the car anyway. But uh, front bar survived, both guards survive. Uh, side skirts, no dramas, doors, all, yeah, all good. Quarter panels did get a bit uh, scraped up here. Carl did have uh, wider rims on at one stage. Uh, and he didn't take the spaces off and that's what happens when your wheels are a bit too wide uh, But that's all good. That's what we call self clearancing <laughs> so that won't happen again uh, Then we get to the rear bumper bar and he did get a love tap Here from one of the BRZ guys in the drift cadet car and it did split it down here I've already repaired it at the moment uh, And there are just a few chips here and there uh, I'll throw in a clip of, uh, yeah, me fixing it now. So we got the bar off, and uh, hey, 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 sneak away, mate. <laughs> got all rusty here, having a couple beers. And uh, we put up with the stand, and we've noticed a bit more damage. There's a bit more damage here as well. A bit of extra damage. That's just how fiberglass is.
as you can see, I fiberglass that rear bumper bar up so she's all back in one piece now. I was going to paint it up, but Carl did see it like this, and he goes, nah, don't, don't paint it. We have a drift comp coming up, and uh, there's no point doing it until after the comps. Is uh, he's going to get a bit, a uh, bit aggressive? He reckons. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. If he's going to go full with noise, that's a no-brainer to uh, not paint it and uh, wait till comps is done, and we'll get back on top of that. We'll pretty all back up. Is probably just put some black paint back in these white spots. As you can see here, another white spot there. Yes. I can't leave things looking untidy, it's just my nature. I am the worst drifter ever. <laughs> We've got a Kaz, and that's been changed out for an RB26 one that I had laying around. Uh, Carl did get onto the laptop to uh, double check uh, the log after Rocky Nuts, and he did notice that the Kaz was missing a count here and there. So he did put the RB26 one in, and we're all happy days there now. So we got one problem fixed up. Righto, so the old uh, V-back soon cylinder. What's gonna happen there? We've only got two weeks to comp coming up, 28th of May. Uh, we are lucky enough that we have on-song performance with us, and he has supplied a few more parts for Carl to get a motor that he's already nearly built together. So he has an RB bottom end forge. Once these parts rock up from Max at Onsong Performance, throw this motor together over the weekend, get it in, and uh, pretty much just run the same turbo and same plenum. So the only thing different will be just the forge bottom end. So there shouldn't be any tuning involved unless Carl does put a different head on that he has bigger cams. So obviously that's going to throw the tune out, having built more airflow in the head. And then we might have to take it down the max. And at the same time, we're picking up my R33.4. So in the next two weeks, it is all go here at Fish and Drifts. It is out of control. Two weeks to go to comps and uh, we need a car <laughs> that needs a new motor. And my car still needs the bigger turbo put on, which uh, Max has that sorted. I'm Lucky enough, I'm not touching that because it won't get done. Uh, Max put a bigger turbo on, sorting out the uh, Motec ECU and fix up intercooling piping. He's going to have that done by next Saturday. If this motor's done by next Saturday, we're going to travel down the sunny coast, swap the cars over because my car will be done. Max will have this car on the dyno and then bring it up for the comp because he's coming up to the comp to watch. <sighs> Jeez, I don't know why we do this, guys. <laughs> but we love it. We love it. Have to rest after that, right? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. <laughs> Spread out.